Hey guys, what is up and welcome to today's video. If you guys don't know me, hi, my name is Rosa. I am a part-time reseller on the apps Poshmark, eBay, and ThreadUp. In today's video, we are doing another What's Sold Sunday where I talk about everything that sold in the past week. So if you guys wanna know what sold this past week, <laughs> make sure to keep on watching. Also, please make sure to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't yet. You join the Briar Patch fan band. We have fun y'all the time. I'm, and let's go ahead and get started with today's video. Good. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and sit on the side here and show you guys exactly what sold. This week was a lot better on Poshmark than last week. And also I made a really interesting sale on ThreadUp, which I will talk about today as well. So make sure to check out the timestamps down below of where I talk about Poshmark, eBay, and ThreadUp because I know I have a variety of people who like to watch my videos and they have certain interests, whether it's just Poshmark or ThreadUp, whether it's just eBay or ThreadUp, whether it's just Poshmark and eBay. So definitely make sure to check out the timestamps down below so you guys will be notified of when each part starts. So I'm gonna go right into my phone. This is where I keep all of my info of what sold as well as all the pictures that I post right here. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start with Poshmark. And the first item that sold on Poshmark was something from my BoxyCharm. If you guys don't know, I do a series on this channel every Friday. Well, like two out of the four Fridays a month and it's called Love It or List It. And basically that means if I love something in the box, I'm gonna keep it in a subscription service box. And if I don't love it and I can post it on Poshmark, I'll go ahead and post it on Poshmark. So this sold actually extremely fast on Poshmark once I posted it up there. This sold on September 5th and this sold, this was a Tristique Summer and Glow travel kit. It was, it sold for $10 because everything that I put on Poshmark from my boxes, I will be listing for $10. I know a lot of people were listing them for $25, $30 and I was like, mm hmm that's a little overpriced. This was a Tristique Summer and Glow travel kit. Like I mentioned, it sold for $10. My Poshmark fee was $2.95. So my net earnings were $7.05. The next item that sold was on September 6th. This was a pair of Sam Edelman Rivera flat hot pink velvet studded flats. It didn't even say, oh yeah, it says flat on it. Um, it sold for $40, my Poshmark fee was $8, my shipping discount was $2.12. So my net earnings were $29.88. And I was really excited for the sale. This I got from my friend Christine's mystery box. The next item was something that I've had in my closet since probably the beginning. I just relisted it a bunch of times. It finally sold. This is a pair of J. Crew City Fit Navy Blue Pinstripe Work Pants. I sold them for $21, my Poshmark fee was $4.20. So my net earnings were $16 dollars and 80 cents and again these were just regular slacks work pants i like to put work pants because i feel like people look for work pants rather than career pants more often than not so work pants is a good one for me the next item was something that i got from goodwill this past goodwill haul you guys will see the next two coming up in the next two weeks so and i mark it if in the video, I marked it that I sold it as well. This is a Moth Anthropology Cream Chunky Knit Sweater. It was a size extra small, and this sold for $30 on September 7th. My Poshmark fee was $6, and my so my net earnings were $24 on the Moth. So Moth can actually sell a lot better on thread up actually so i was planning on sending this to thread up but i was having issues with thread up of getting labels so i actually put a lot of my stuff that i was going to sell on thread up on poshmark first so i can at least have a chance to sell it before i send it to thread up so those were one of the items that sold that i was meaning to send to thread up but i ended up posting on poshmark the next item that sold, or it was a bundle, was September 10th. And if you guys don't know, I have a bundle sale in my Poshmark closet. If you bundle two items, I send you a 20% off offer with $4.99 shipping. If you bundle three items, you get 50% off your entire purchase. Just wait for me to send you the offer. So this was a three item bundle. This was a bundle of Athleta Tan Open Knit Cardigan Peplum Cashmere. Prana Open Knit Slouchy Net Long Sleeve Sweater, and an H&M Conscious Blouse Green Long Bejeweled Jacket. They all sold for the price of $50. My Poshmark fee was $10, so my net earnings were $40 on these three items. The Athleta, Prana, and H&M I all got at Goodwill. Um, not in one haul, but in a couple of hauls recently, so happy about that, hey. 
All right, the next item was something I didn't even know about. I'm going to be talking about it again in my haul video that's gonna be coming out this Tuesday. And this was something called a Flint and Tinder men's black crew neck sweater. Flint and Tinder is actually a pretty high end bland, bleh, bland brand. And I will be showing you guys the tag in my Tuesday haul video. So make sure to click the notification bell and subscribe if you wanna know when that goes up. But Yes, so um, this is a Flint and Tinder. I actually was hoping to sell it for around $60, but again, I am okay with taking a little bit less if I'm making three times my money back. And this sold for $40, my Poshmark fee was $8, so my net earnings were at $32. And again, I am actually trying to sell my items for more money. I'm actually listing them, listing them for more expensive now. One, because offers. And two, because I feel like I was giving away stuff for such a long time, and now that I'm going into the thread up world, I can see that I can make more money on certain items, so I'm raising up the prices that way. And your girl's gotta make money. In one year from now, I am on my way to Europe, so I have to make some mucho dineros to be able to afford that trip. So as you guys know, Poshmark, I resell for vacations, so our Poshmark money, or my Poshmark money, really pays for probably like, I would say, like 50 no like 60 to 75 percent of our vacation it comes from poshmark money and ebay money and thread up money and whatever so um i need to make some money so i can start booking i'm actually going to start booking our trip in january um so i have to i was going to start booking it like this weekend but i realized i can't book so far in advance plus a lot of item a lot of hotels are expensive right now if you book a year in advance so i'm gonna just wait and kind of watch the market and see like if they can get lower because i don't want to pay more than a hundred dollars a night um for any of the hotels we stay at, at in um scotland and ireland so i'm just kind of like monitoring right now it's monitoring season girls and guys so the next item that sold was a, and this is the final item. Yeah, this is the final item that sold on Poshmark this week. This sold on September 10th. It is a Vince Silk Blend Black Career Blouse Size 6. I sold it for $50. My Poshmark fee was $10. So my net earnings were $40. I priced this super high, you guys. I priced this at $80 because I knew that I could post it for 100 and something on ThreadUp and I was secretly hoping it was going to stay until I could send it to ThreadUp. But someone did give me a legitimate offer of $50, so I took it. I have never sold in my entire life Vince for more than maybe $35. So for somebody to buy a blouse that was 100% silk for me for $50, I was like, that was kind of the turning point. Well, not that sale, but that kind of told me like, hey, people are willing to buy things for a little bit more than $25. There's not just like only, not cheap, but people who want to save money buyers. There are buyers that are just looking for discounts as well. So I'm very excited for that sale. And I shipped that one out yesterday and that was everything that sold on Poshmark. So let's move into eBay. Now eBay has been a complete dead zone why this is another reason why I decided to start using ThreadUp was because eBay has died for me almost completely. I don't know what's going on. I'm doing everything right. This is the first week that I haven't really listed new items, but I sell similar all the time and it's been this it's been pretty dead. I want to say it's been pretty dead for about a month and a half. So that's why I kind of started looking into Mercari and then Mercari was being stupid. I just don't like Mercari in general. I don't like to use their platform. I don't know why. I just really don't. So I deleted Mercari and now I'm back trying thread up. So this is some stuff that sold on eBay. The first item that sold on eBay was a Why the Last Man issues 21 to 60 in dust covers, Brian Vaughn. This packet sold for $30 plus $6.99 shipping. This was just Richard's comics. We are on the prowl. <laughs> well, we have a goal of selling all of Richard's comics off. So this is the very first kind of little, little bit of like um, crawling before we really go through it. Um, so I have one small box here of comics. Two of my listings have already sold. I'm not gonna say two comics, but two listings have already sold because we do bundle comics together like you see in this picture right here is that we do bundle items together. The next item was something I picked up at Goodwill. This was a Danny K women's shoulder bag multicolor black tapestry jacket. This title was created by 
Sellhound. If you guys don't know, I use an app called Sellhound to create titles and descriptions for me when it comes to my eBay listings. You can also use these titles on Poshmark, but Sellhound works directly with eBay. So if you list something on Sellhound, it goes directly to eBay. You don't have to like copy and paste the title and description because all you do is just post on eBay and it posts on eBay for you. Super easy. And I've been noticing I've been getting a lot more sales, even though I'm super slow right now. Most of my sales that have been coming through have the titles from Sellhound. So if you guys are interested in trying three items out on Sellhound for free, make sure to check out the link down below. Use my code ROSA25 and you will also get 25% off of your first purchase, whether it is just a pack of five listings or you want to sign up for their subscription service so definitely make sure to check out the link down below i use them i actually pay for the app like i pay for those things as well so i only buy i'm not gonna lie, i only get 30 listings a month ish um yeah i get 30 listings a month with them so that's what subscription i do so if you guys want to try it out i suggest doing the 30 so at least you can like kind of get a gist of how they work so that's everything again. Check out the link down below. They also have a free comp site that I talk about in my uh, thrifting videos. So I sold that purse for $20.99 and the buyer paid $6.99. I loved it. It was such a beautiful tapestry bag. I This is the first time I ever picked up a bag really from Goodwill to resell. I normally don't look at the bag section, but I think I will start doing that just because I am messing around with my inventory. You guys know if you follow me on Instagram that I am currently... Um, getting rid of a lot of my inventory to send to thread up so I'm going to have room for things um, I am actually remodeling like a little bit of our bedroom I'm also remodeling a little bit of our living room because again we had a lot of like inventory everywhere now that I'm clearing out inventory I can actually make things look somewhat decent so I got like the I'm getting these beautiful drawers for our closet they're super cheap on Amazon I will do like a little a little tour of like our remodel for all of you people who follow me on Instagram and that are interested. I'll be doing a little tour video here once everything is done and I'll show you guys every all the new stuff that we bought. It's not going to be like crazy remodel, but I do want to talk and I want to show you guys kind of like what it looks like when I get it. I just don't want to talk about it until I get it and I can actually review it and if it's actually good. All right, so the next item that sold on eBay was this Garnet Hill Blue 100% Cashmere Multiple Cardigan Size Medium. The reason I called it Multiple Cardigan is because it had like multiple ways of wearing it. I sold it for $30. The buyer paid $6.99 shipping. Garnet Hill can sell for a lot more. I actually had it up for I think $49.99, but $30 was a pretty good like offer, so I took it. You know what I mean? And that one sold via promoted listings. I do all of my listings on eBay promoted because girl, the, I don't know what's going on there. So I just keep it. The last item that sold on eBay was this Ted Baker men's button front shirt, gray geometric long sleeve point collar. Again, another Sellhound title. This sold for $25 with free shipping. I did free shipping because it was super light to ship out so I could eat a little bit of the cost. But yeah, this sold again for 25 plus free shipping. And it was just Ted Baker that I found at Goodwill. So now I'm going to talk about the three sales that I made on ThreadUp. But I also made a fourth sale on ThreadUp that I'm going to talk about at the end, which was a very interesting sitch. And I didn't think that would ever happen. So the first, and these are all low sales, by the way. So everything that I talk about in this video when it comes to ThreadUp, this is everything I sent a long time ago, like... I'm talking I sent it in June and it was a lot of next door trash that I sent to them. So I wasn't even expecting them to take any of it. But so I will let you know if it's anything newer that I sent to them. So the first item was something from next door. And this is an Ava and Viv size large leggings. They sold for $11.99. So my potential payout is $1.08. It will be, it's already delivered, but the return is allowed until 924. So there is a possibility of them returning it. But if they don't return it and they keep it till 924, I get a huge payout of $1.08. <laughs> so yeah. The next item that sold on ThreadUp was the size medium active tank. This sold for a whopping $8.99. And my potential payout, oh, it sold automatically i don't remember why it sold automatically i don't think it went anywhere weird but it sold on 9 8 
and my estimated payout was 61 cents a Roonies. So that's how much I got paid out. Not estimate, it just says payout. Um, 61 cents. The final item that sold on ThreadUp that I was able to track was a Tooltex size extra large short sleeve t-shirt that said made in the 80s. And this sold for a whopping $9.99 a Roonies. And my potential payout, the item is in transit right now. The potential payout, if they keep the t-shirt, will be 75 cents. So again, nothing crazy at all. Um, because honestly, like I was just, this is stuff, actually this, was something that I've had in my inventory for over a year and a half. So this was a stale inventory that I sent out, I'm pretty sure like last month. So this is actually new, but I was okay with this payout because this is stale inventory. If something has been in my inventory, so let me just explain how it works. So it's like a long process, so I have to breathe before I tell you. So I am going to be sending items to thread up twice. And if they get returned to me twice or reclaimed twice, I will keep them and sell them on Poshmark. If they stay on Poshmark for a little bit over a year and a half, I, or I've had the item in total for a year and a half and it has not sold, I will send it to ThreadUp for a final graveyard type of deal where I don't pay for return assurance. I do not reclaim, but I do still lift my prices high. So that's kind of how my, um, situation is going to work. I will send a thread up. I will wait a year and a half from when I send a thread up. If it doesn't sell within a year and a half, I will go ahead and send it to the graveyard of thread up. So that's why it's actually really good to sometimes pick up mystery boxes from thread up because it's not only stuff they don't take and they kind of don't give back. It's actually good stuff as well that has not sold the people are like, whatever, I don't want it anymore. So I definitely want to pick up another DIY denim box box at some point because I think, I think it'll be fun. It'll be fun to do. So any hoodles that is the last item that sold on thread up. And now I'm going to go into an item that sold on thread up, but like it didn't come up on my favorite. So the way that I know what sells on thread up, I don't actually go through all the bags. I go through, I actually like everything that's in my bags or my site or whatever you call it. I'm going to call it a closet because that's what I'm used to calling things. So everything that is in a, in my closet, I favored it. So when something sells or something is in someone's cart, I can see it from my favorites because it'll tell you. Now this was not in my favorites and not in my cart or not in someone's cart. This write out was on reserved and sold. And that is because it went into a goodie bag, I'm 100% sure. And those are the best sales I think for people who do thread up. People who do thread up, they kind of hope, and at least for me, they kind of hope that their item gets pulled for a goodie bag. Because if it gets pulled for a goodie bag, A, you get paid out, automatically and B you get your full payout so for example the item I'm talking about today is this st. John's Bay short sleeve t-shirt size extra small extra large sorry I got this from next door and I don't remember I think it sold for $23.99 to Poshmark because they put it in someone's goodie bag which if you guys don't know what a goodie bag is I probably should have said that it is a subscription service that ThreadUp does for people who want to buy secondhand clothing but also want to be styled at the same time ThreadUp has something called a goodie bag that will give you a couple of items and basically that's that so when your item gets pulled for a goodie bag because they just pull randomly from their inventory, you will get paid out right away and you get your full price. So my payout for this guy was $4.08, which is my highest payout so far from all of my next door stuff. So yes, girl, that is everything that actually sold this week from Poshmark, eBay, and ThreadUp. I hope you guys are liking these videos. I really love doing what sold videos for you guys. I think that's my favorite video to do because and it's because I think it's my favorite video to watch honestly like when my favorite youtubers or resellers talk about what's sold especially on thread up right now because I'm just learning um I I gobble it up and I stop everything and I watch it because I want to know exactly what is selling and what I should be looking out for now again you should take everything that any of us resellers say with a grain of salt because if something sells for us it may not necessarily sell for you but we're at least telling you that hey somebody was interested in this item so i'm sure someone will be interested in your item as well 
but yeah i am just super excited and i actually sent four bags in last week or this past week for thread up i am actually doing a huge overhaul today as well one of my plans for today which is saturday when i'm filming this so you will see this the next day is finally get all of my inventory into thread up bags not all of it but everything i want to send to thread up ship that off next week and then finally start my thread up kind of journey i feel like i haven't started my journey yet because nothing that i sent in that was not stale inventory hasn't been processed and i'm just like so excited you guys i'm so excited to see what goes on with thread up and i'm just excited to have somewhat of a reliable source of in i mean it's not reliable at all by any means it's the same thing but at least i don't have to be home and ship something out you know what i mean like i can send it off to somebody and they do everything for me and like i don't have to worry about it i just have to send in the bag now i do want to let you know that i send in an express uh sorry express like bag so i pay 26.99 for return assurance and express or like faster uh what is it processing time express processing so i do pay 26.99 for each bag i do want to let you guys know that now but it's honestly not the biggest hit for me because i write it off on my taxes and i'm not gonna talk too much about taxes but i do have an llc briar Rose style is an llc so um i write off a lot of stuff that has to do with my business so the 26.99 per bag is not gonna like kill me by any chance anyway you know what i mean um so i'm excited to see now for the bags that i'm gonna send for graveyard stuff it's going to be expedited processing but i will not be paying for return assurance and also i can always uncheck the return assurance it when the bag is in process because i want to order labels as soon as possible i don't know what is going to go into what bag so i can always uncheck the return assurance if i don't want it anymore so Without further ado, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it somewhat informational. And yeah, I love you guys so much. Um, stay tuned for Tuesday's video, which will be another Goodwill thrift haul. And Friday's video, which will hopefully be a fall scents haul. I'm waiting for one more thing to come in the mail, and then I'm going to go ahead and film it. So if I look like I just came back from work, it's because I probably did just come back from work, and I want to film the video. So that'll be Friday's video. So... Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys like this video, give it a huge thumbs way, way up. Subscribe if you haven't yet. You know the Briar Patch fan band where we have fun here all the time. Uh, 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 um. Leave a comment down below of letting me know what your favorite sale was of mine or what your favorite sale was of yours from this week. And I'll see you guys all a little later. Bye-bye. Yo, what's up? I'm the Mad Hatter. I'll pour you tea. Please don't let it spread. Does it really matter? Cause I'm the mad head. <laughs>